Hello there guys, welcome to another channel update. Now this is just gonna be me talking to you guys again, like last time. We have done we've done three channel updates already. We've done uh, future YouTube projects, uh, reality shows that I would do if the YouTube got bigger, and we also spoke about the BBC Radio Sheffield uh, interview. So this channel update is just me just me telling you guys how much I support how much I appreciate the support from you guys. Um that's why the title of this video is "You Guys Are So Supportive." So, you know, it's just it's just a video, just me reaching out to you guys. That's the reason for doing these channel updates, so I can reach out to you guys and just you know appreciate what you guys bring to the channel. So, you know, when when we started this channel, I I never thought we would get near to or, or getting close to 500,000 views across all our videos and nearly 2,000 subscribers in two, nearly two full years. We we started this, this channel in November 2018 and you know we had the full 2019 and we've nearly had the full 2020 so nearly two full years on the channel which is absolutely bonkers, absolutely bonkers and the fact we've achieved what we've achieved in you know two full years on the channel is ridiculous so you know and factual entertainment is something i've wanted to bring to the forefront of youtube i think it's something i've always wanted to do i've wanted to get other people involved that may not know a lot about theme parks but we have a lot of fun we do the entertainment side of things and we have a lot of fun um you know i did the interviews with uh, with house of swag kids from bgt uh, this year, hopefully the semi-finals do kick off very, very soon on ITV1. Um, I've done... Uh, I, I may decide to upload it onto this channel as well, but I did an interview with the Sheffield Sharks basketball captain, Mike, talk about the, the season and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I may decide to re-upload that interview today as well. So uh, if you want to see me, see me upload that, then comment down below, because I'd love to get your input on that um, for the Coast Child Chat series. And, you know, I... Doing all these different projects and doing all the things that I've been involved with just it, it makes you feel grateful about what you've got, the support that you have. Because you know, it's not just me that's got to this stage; it's it's you guys that have helped me get to this stage. And you know, it's it's one of those things where you just sort of you stand back and you appreciate things. You know, and the comments I've got over recent videos over the last few days have been nothing short of magical. You know, for me personally, um, you know, I, I, I get comments like, you're the best theme park news channel, and, you know, I, I watch you all the time for theme park news, and, you know, you know your, your intros are hilarious, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I try to be hilarious, but, you know, it might come off as cringy sometimes, but you know what, fair enough. Yeah, If you want to call me a theme park morgues, fair enough. <laughs> Shout out to morgues. Uh, well done on your ultimate challenge game. Well done. Um, but yeah, it's, it's you know, this channel's gone through a lot. And I mean a lot. We've done a lot of things. We've done a lot of things like bringing people into the channel. And we've done a lot of things to promote the channel on other sources, whether it's um, web articles, radio, uh, online uh, uh, newspapers, you know, things like that. In fact, hang on, hang on while I've got it. Here we go. I don't think I've shown it on screen for a while, but I've still got it. There, see, still got it. Um, you know, and when I when I last picked up this article, um, I mean, I'm trying to find the date of this now, um, April thirtieth. You know, this was only, you know, two month, just over two months ago. So, you know, and this was when we had one thousand six hundred followers, or around about. And, you know, now we're getting closer and closer to 1,800 followers, which, you know, in two months is brilliant. So, you know, it, you know, picking up that article and, you know, looking at it, you know, and I was thinking about it and I was like, well, it's not just me that's got to this stage. It's you guys that have got me to this stage. You're the reason I'm on this newspaper right now. You're the reason I did that radio interview. You guys are the reason why I was on the web article for this as well. So... You know, I'll put this down now because I don't want to do the full thing with this. In, um, you know, it it's so heartwarming that you guys support me. And you know, I've said many times in the past about this channel 
that I want this to be just as important as the challenge YouTubers, the pranking YouTubers, the the, the, the you know the, the big YouTubers. I want this to, to be just as important. And you know, there's YouTubers that I've looked up to in the past, the Sidemen, Sog, you know, Casper Lee, Cal Freezy, um, Jack Septicai, top of the morning tier. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to be like them. Well, not like, well, not be like them, but try and live up to their you know quality um, with what I do. And you know, you guys step by step are helping me get there. So, you know, I'm really excited for the future. I don't know what the future holds. Obviously, I spoke about the YouTube projects in a past update, but you know, doing this. You know, it allows me to open up myself to you guys and just just tell you all how grateful I am because you know I might get loads and loads of comments, I might get hundreds and hundreds of comments, and I might reply to every single one of them, but I really want to go deeper into every conversation and just say how grateful I am. So this was the kind of video to do it. This is the kind of video where I open you all up and say, hey, thank you. Um, so you know we've got plenty of brilliant content coming over the next few weeks. We've got loads of content coming. Obviously the Six Flags announcement at the end of the month, so we'll be doing some videos for that. Other ride announcements throughout the next couple of months, we'll be doing some videos from that and analysing the coasters like we did uh, last year. Obviously the SeaWorld coasters have been delayed till 2021, apart from of course Texas Stingray, which you know opened very early in the year. So you know that's the only one that seems to be the new one for 2020. You know Pantheon, Icebreaker, Iron Guazi, and um, um, Emperor at San Diego. They're going to be delay till next year so uh you know that'll be exciting obviously six flags announcement at the end of the month they've got their delayed coasters and attractions tsunami surge and then the four coasters for 2021 now uh, along with the three rumor coasters and other attractions they've bought for next year as well so it's going to be a big year next year for six flags uh with the delayed editions and the new editions as well um and it's going to be, I think 2021 is going to be a big year for the channel because we've got so many trips that we're looking forward to. You know, Alton Towers, I, I, you know, I, I said, you know, even though they've put the restrictions in place for this year, for the end of the year, apart from realistically Scarefest, I think this year I might miss out on Alton Towers for the first time. I've never missed out on a trip to Alton Towers since 2005, and I think this year, apart from potentially Scarefest, this might be the year where I miss out. Uh, but 2021 is going to be very exciting with Alton Towers. Um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, hopefully, when Valhalla refurbishment opens. Uh, Tornado Springs Media Day at Poulton's Park. Hopefully that will still go ahead next year in May. Um, you know, it, you know. obviously, Chessington's got their new drop tower, so I want to try and get a trip down to there. Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thorpe Park, I want to try and get back down to there. Uh, obviously, in terms of other projects, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, I want to try and be at VidCon next year. Uh, in London in July, if they're doing a public VidCon next year. Um, hopefully you guys are going to come down to London and meet me, um, which would be nice. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on next year already, which, you know, I'm really excited for. And, you know, I th obviously next year's well, technically this year into next year is my last year of university. So, you know, after then, I can fully focus on this and I can make this my life. So... You know, at the minute, it's most of my life, but then I can make it 100% my life, you know, around this time next year. So, you know, 2021 is a big year for me, personally, and for and for the channel. It's a big year for the channel, but it's a big year for me, personally, as well, because I, I finish studying at all. That's the last year of studying, finished, done, finito. And, um, you know, I'm in the big wide world. So, uh, it's a big step, big, big step. You know, turning 20 was a big, big step. And... You know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have had that, you know, worries of, you know, you know, after studying what you're going to do, what you're going to do. Find your passion. Try and find something related to your passion. See if you like it. And if you don't, keep searching because you'll find something eventually. You know, I'm an actor. So my passion was camera work, confidence, trying to be 100% in work, and eth in work ethic and things like that. So, when I found YouTube a couple of years ago, that was, you know, one of the things I loved doing. And I loved putting my acting into it and applying the acting techniques uh, for the funny intros. So, 
it was one of those things where I could learn, I could still learn without being in a classroom. So, you know, if you've got any passion, go for it because you never know where it will take you. I never thought this passion would take me to radio interviews and web articles about my channel, but it's got there. And that's from me realising what I could do. I've got some big aspirations. I got a comment on that reality show video and said, you've got, you got massive ambitions, there's theme park channels, you know, bigger than you. Um, and, you know, I, it, you know, even though I, even though I agree with that, if you dream, if you don't dream big, where are you going to end up? So I always dream big because I want to know where I want to end up. So, um, you know, that's why I did that video because I dream big enough to realise what I could do. So, you know, if you've got a passion, fight, fight for it. Fight for your passion. Fight for what you want to do. And, you know, if you've got, like, any worries about what you want to do, if you've got any worries or doubts, think of it as hurdles. Think of it as a hurdle race. I'm not very good at athletics. <laughs> Trust me. Um, but I look at every doubt and every obstacle as a hurdles race. You jump over it when you find a way to jump over it and once you've jumped over, over over all the hurdles you'll lose doubt over everything so you know shit. this video is pretty much not just appreciating your support this is me helping you guys out if you've got any worries about your passions or any doubts just overcome them like a hurdles race just jump over those doubts kick them to one side kick them to the curb as we used to say and um just, just go for it. Just go for it because you never know where that's going to take you. So, you know that's one of the that's probably the main message of this channel update. You never know where that's going to take you. So kick your doubts to the curb in the hurdles race. So, you know this might not be the biggest update of all of them, but you know it was just a, a nice talkative update. And you know I'm going to probably do more of these updates. You know if you want to, if you want me to talk more about you know different things that may be worrying you and things like that. Um, so please comment down below um, if you've got any doubts or any worries or anything like that, and I'll reply to you straight away, and I'll I'll set you straight, and I'll help you. I'll I'll, I'll help everyone. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this channel update. This is just a video, basically me just appreciating your support on the channel, and you know, again, just keep going with the support because we want this channel to be just as big as we think it could be. Because I never expected to reached 300 subs in a couple of years with the kind of content I was doing and the fact that we're nearly at 2,000 in two, nearly two full years is unrealistic which is not a very easy one for me to say uh, so thank you very much guys my name is Coach Chell keep living the coaster life make sure you keep enjoying yourself stay safe stay socially distant and for now guys I will see you in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day